Let's start a discussion of elevators with traction elevators, and then we'll cover hydraulic elevators next. And then you'll be able to uh, contrast them and determine which is the best one for a specific application. So uh, just a, a quick overview, and then I'm going to show you a video by a premier manufacturer of elevators. Um, this is a, out of our textbook. This is the car. We have a counterweight notable um, to balance off the weight of the car. These are the two guide rails that um, align the elevator to move up and down within the core. Notable, um, the control motor and control systems are up in the penthouse. In the video, we're going to see this has been eliminated with new technologies. Um, and down below, we usually have a pit um, at the base level. The elevator has components below it that need to be accommodated. So there's typically a pit at the bottom. And um, in the next video, I'm going to let this run, and then we'll close off the discussion on this. And I'll go to full screen on this. Introducing the future of elevating. An elevator that uses state-of-the-art engineering to meet the demands of an upwardly mobile society. Schindler 3300. Schindler unveils a new concept for your vertical travel experience. The perfect combination of a stylish Italian-designed interior and precision Swiss engineering. Conceptualized by an Italian designer, the elevator interior is designed around a biomorphic concept. Schindler's breakthrough technology ensures the Schindler 3300 provides a smooth ride for its passengers. Instead of conventional steel wire ropes, Schindler 3300 uses a suspension traction media system which is comprised of six strong surface-coated steel wire ropes encased in a lightweight synthetic rubber called EPDM. The result is a highly flexible system that optimizes space and provides smoother operation than any elevator in its class. Its innovative tooth design allows the suspension traction media to be tightly engaged within the grooves of the pulley. By avoiding wear on both sides during operation, the suspension traction media's one-way bending characteristic helps ensure a longer lifespan. Strength, lightweight, and durability. These advantages enable Schindler to utilize a highly efficient small gearless traction machine with best-in-class motor efficiency and performance. The motor adopts an axial design that gives a low starting torque. With an integrated long-pass traction shaft, load is distributed over both ends, thus leading to a secure and stable operation. I just want to stop there so you can actually see that counterbalance coming back down again as the elevator moves. Once this is back together again, there's the counterbalance coming down. The counter Schindler rate. designs to the principal concepts of sustainable development and environmental protection. The Schindler once again, I want to stop here so you can see this lightweight structure. This is all folded sheet metal framework for the elevator. The idea is to reduce the weight of the elevator um, so that it can increase the carrying capacity, how many occupants can, can uh, be safely carried within it. So there's a great advantage and a great movement forward to when you're refurbishing elevators to not add dead weight, so to speak, to the elevators. The 3300 unique frameless cab design reduces system weight, energy consumption, and installation times. The quiet operation of the machine and brakes assures a peaceful environment for all building tenants. To help ensure safety, the traction machine uses a built-in disc brake, which increases braking efficiency. While the dual disc brake design further improves safety, its silent operation offers a comfortable journey for passengers. Schindler takes pride. Just stop here briefly to take note of the elevator lobby and the, the quality and the amount of design work that goes into that. Um, this is a place where um, many architectural firms 
can um, add a great deal of value for the client in creating attractive um, at floor level um, unique identification of their business or their off office um, um, location um, inside of a, a high rise building that might have multiple tenants in it. So a lot of a lot of design attention many times is spent on these specific lobbies on any given floor. In blending their products into the building environment, the Schindler 3300 inspection and test panel is installed in the door frame on the top floor. An additional control cabinet is not needed, which in turn provides more usable space and enhances building aesthetics. This machine room-less elevator is designed to minimize its entire operating space by having very small suspension pulleys at the bottom of the car. This design enables reduction of pit depth and the overhead height, freeing up to as much as 20% valuable building space. Experience the perfect elevator system for your building. Eco-friendly design, cost-effective solution. So, um, with that in mind, I guess one last graphic here before we wrap up the traction elevator styles. This is out of the textbook. This is showing you um, the car and counterbalance. I wanted to kind of give you a, uh, another type of illustration so you can understand this. So here we have a weight balancing off the car. In this case, they go to an elaborate discussion about this idea of wrapping in order to create more friction. And that's a kind of eliminated in that idea that Schindler is proposing with a rubber belt. So um, these are, are really kind of an, an antiquities of graphics for traction elevators today, um, but nonetheless um, still interesting. So next we'll pick up on um, hydraulic elevators.